When online sports betting was legalized in New Hampshire, it generated a buzz at TJ's Food and Spirits in Portsmouth. Someone who places a bet um, is more likely to stick around and watch a game all the way through. Well, last weekend, a packed house drew attention bar owners did not anticipate. My staff and a few of our customers um, came to me and said, hey, we're having issues using the DraftKings sports app. Turns out, in some circumstances, when people are close to the main border where sports gambling is not legal, customers see this notification from DraftKings, which says it cannot verify a user's location. Confused, Hayes contacted DraftKings. The response that I got personally was that it was a state regulated issue. Hayes then canvassed Portsmouth finding fluctuating hotspots and dead zones. She finally found a safe space two blocks away. In the summer, it's not as big a deal, but when it's 15 degrees and it's, you know, AFC Championship weekend, it's a little inconvenient. A profit on the line for the bar and for the state, which receives 50% of sports betting revenue. In a statement, Governor Sununu said, ensuring that everyone anywhere in New Hampshire can place a sports bet is critical and the Lottery Commission and DraftKings are on this issue to make the experience as seamless as possible. In a statement to WMUR, DraftKings says it is aware there is a problem and that this is often the result of a mobile phone signal pinging a tower outside New Hampshire and is usually an intermittent problem. And of course, if you are experiencing an issue with the DraftKings app, the company encourages customers to reach out via their email support at DraftKings.com.